What's going on? Welcome back to another Sam Blueby video. In this video, I'm going to be fixing and modding this Game Boy Color. So I picked this up off eBay. I paid, I think it was £28, which is a little bit more than I would usually like to pay for a Game Boy Color. Um, but I was happy to pay the price, I guess, because the shell is in quite nice condition and I specifically wanted one with a red shell because I'm going to put a white screen lens and some white buttons on it and I think that will just look really nice um, with the red. Uh, like I said, I'm also going to put in a IPS screen. It's nothing too fancy, it's just the same screen that I done a few weeks ago in the clear and or the clear Game Boy Color with red buttons. Um, so yeah, now this Game Boy Color again doesn't work. Uh, if I just put some batteries in, actually, I don't even need a game. If I turn the sound all the way up, there, there is no sound. Um, that's that's the only problem. Um, it wasn't said in the listing that it had no sound. It was just sold as broken. Uh, so it's always a bit of a gamble. But yeah, so I've got a new speaker. I'm going to fix the speaker first. And then I will install all of the IPS screen. I've got another 3D printed bracket, so I'll show you how to do that again. And yeah, let's start disassembling this. Definitely need a pair of tweezers for this part, but basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my soldering iron and just add a little bit of extra solder onto the contacts. This bit you don't really need tweezers for, you can just hold the speaker and just desolder the wires. Now the new speaker is a genuine Nintendo speaker, I'm. you could use an aftermarket one, I just prefer to use original parts, um, plus aftermarket speakers sort of rattle around in the shell, uh, which isn't great. but. Just gonna hold the wire with my tweezers. You can just solder that into place like that. Now, if you don't have tweezers, you could probably try and awkwardly hold the speaker to solder in. Um, but it's hundred percent, it's hundred times easier just to use a pair of tweezers to hold the wires. If you don't use tweezers, the wire just heats up, it gets really hot and it burns you. Uh, yes, I've done that quite a few times, but there you go. The soldering doesn't have to look perfect. Um, it's not really going to go under that much stress because once it's in the shell, uh, it's not really going to be moving anywhere. But you can just sort of fold that back up like that take our back shell and then we can just drop this in put our two batteries in and now we can now here. we can actually start on modding the Game Boy itself now apart from the speaker not working everything else in this Game Boy Color worked fine so I don't need to worry about any of that but let's first start by just taking out all of these old buttons uh, it's a little bit dirty and that's kind of a bit bad that's not too bad a and b not bad and the a and b buttons themselves and then we can just very gently twist the shell to get the screen out i'm only twisting it well i'm twisting it a little bit um, and as you can literally see the screen is just falling out um, i will save this screen i Basically every IPS Game Boy Color or any Game Boy mod that I've done where I've taken out a old screen uh, I basically save it because as you saw in last week's video uh, They do sometimes come in quite handy instead of having to spend five pound on a new screen I've just got them kind of laying around so Let's put this bracket in place Oops. Goes around this way now this bracket definitely isn't perfect uh, I designed it myself, which is exactly why uh, I'm probably having trouble with it. It does go around this way. But let me just figure out how to get this bracket in properly. I must have mucked up the dimensions a bit because 
it wouldn't fit in. So I've basically just cut um, this piece off and I'm just gonna, it used to be connected there, um, but I'm just gonna cut it off and put it there. So in terms of the screen, it's very simple. It's solder free. Um, so we can do it very easily. And actually, first thing I'm gonna do is just push out this old screen lens before I go putting in a new um, screen. Let's very quickly as well, peel the film off the back of this. And let's just stick that in place like that. Now, these screens are the these screens are good. However, compared to like a funny playing screen, they're not great. Um, if you're inexperienced and you're not good at soldering, something like that, then these are pretty nice screens to start off modding with. Um, they are basically drop-in screens, which is pretty nice. But let's put that there and then we're gonna fold this ribbon cable down and well, actually we're just gonna put that to one side I'm gonna take this board first actually connect the ribbon the bigger of the two ribbon cables with the black side facing up put that down and then we've got a small touch sensor here and we're gonna do the same thing just plug that in with the black side facing up and then this bit is not tricky but can get a little bit confusing so we're gonna lift the latch plug the ribbon cable in like that and then you want to fold this ribbon cable down and then this motherboard over and then it should sit in place like that now I'm just gonna go grab a little bit of tape and just put it along the back of this screen uh, just to hold it in and make sure the bracket stays in all right. Although saying that, it does seem to be in there. Well, it just fell out, but it does seem to be in there pretty well. So you might not have now to. Really, the final thing to do is to just put all the buttons in place and then reassemble the Game Boy. It's a very simple mod. Uh, you don't have to do any cutting on the shell. I mean, most cases you can get pre-cut shells for an IPS screen. Uh, but this you could use your OEM shell. Uh, I don't know if maybe you had your Game Boy from your childhood and you want to upgrade the screen, but still keep it looking the same. This is definitely quite a good mod for that. But let's fold this ribbon cable over, plug the screen in and just do up the latch like that. And set the motherboard down into place speak is a bit difficult to get in sometimes let's just push that wire there you go and basically put in all the screws put the back shell on and that's it done so i'll do that in a time lapse now and there you go that is it all done like i said it's a very simple mod you could probably do it if you've never taken apart a game boy before i reckon you'd definitely be able to do that mod uh, as you can hear the speaker now works and yeah everything works on this game board the screen does look pretty nice um even though it's ever so slightly smaller than the original nintendo one but equally this is a pretty cheap ips screen um i really like the berry red and white it's just got quite a nice look to it but I do have a, another one of these screens here. However, I'm probably not gonna do a video on it uh, simply because I've already done two and it's just gonna be a bit repetitive. Um, it's the same thing, it's basically a drop-in screen. So I'm not gonna do a, another one on this sort of smaller IPS screen. However, in a few weeks, maybe within the next two weeks, I've got a Q5 Game Boy Color IPS screen, which is the one that's slightly bigger than the original Nintendo one. And I will do a video on that because that one will probably be slightly more interesting. You have to do a little bit more work than this. There's quite a bit of soldering. 
um, if you want to have like the button controls for the menus and all that but yeah that's going to be it for this video i do hope you guys have enjoyed i'm pretty happy with how this game boys come out it didn't didn't cost me a lot um when i bought the screen it came with a white screen lens uh, which gave me the idea to use white buttons which i very conveniently already had laying around and then i just bought the game boy like the berry red game boy and yeah i'm pretty happy with how this looks um yeah that's about it so yeah thank you guys for watching uh comment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye